Alright guys and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video we're talking about no other tool than the Foundry model and it is finally finally out. The version 13 is available and it comes with a couple of things. The very first thing that is actually driving me as someone that loves using tools that are node based is the fact that the guys at Foundry have started thinking about making procedural modeling. And this has to do with something they called Array Elevate. And this is basically what you can do with apps like uh, Blender. I think Blender has a plugin for that. And basically, basically apps like Houdini. And I think these guys are trying to come up with something that might actually uh, evolve to something that is way bigger in the end. And honestly speaking, I was expecting this from Maya as at the last update or the last release. But then it didn't make it out. But these guys are trying to create something like that. And it gives me so much joy to know that. Speaking about modeling capabilities, they've gone ahead to add the kit fusing into the mesh fusion uh, tool set that they have earlier. And mesh fusion is one of those tools that when it came out, it caused a lot of uh, questions of how is this possible. Right before we had things like live bullying and before we even had very amazing bullying happening in Houdini and ZBrush respectively. Uh, the mesh fusion was there and it was an amazing, amazing tool set. But now what they're doing now is they're creating uh, a sort of workflow where you can define where they would like to have their mesh to be fused with some other mesh. So you can import a mesh from say another uh, DCC app that exists somewhere in the future or somewhere here. And you can bring in the mesh directly into model 13 as it stands right now. And you can fuse this mesh to create both mechanical and uh, very amazing amazing designs another thing that is uh, actually cool that has made its way I actually don't really see it as cool cool but then it is cool since it has to do with a gpu rendering capability so if you know about the pro render from amd now it is being supported by modo and if you know about this you will know that pro render is free and it is online and you can go ahead and get it and it was actually shipped with a previous version of cinema i think cinema 4d r19 or so R18, R19, one of them, but now it is now existing directly in Modo 13. So if you have Modo 13 now, you would be able to have that uh, Pro Render directly inside. So you don't necessarily need to, you know, get another rendering engine if you want to render with GPU. And by the way, it's a great renderer, and I think you should go ahead and use it. And speaking about rendering, if you also want to render your stuff directly inside Unity. There is now a modal bridge that can connect your apps or, or that can connect your meshes directly from modal into Unity. And this is another thing that would make a lot of sense because you don't need to go back into Unity to start retexturing or, or you know, not retexturing, like reapplying your textures and reapplying your materials directly. You can move all of those things, both cameras, materials, uh, textures, and the mesh itself directly from modal straight into unity this is something that has existed in maya for a very long time now and it is also good to see that it is happening directly in modo and we cannot just talk about rendering without talking about animation and creating meshes so you can now layer your animations directly in modo this is something that has existed a very very long time but now they are reworking or they are working properly on the animation layering so that at this point you will be able to override some animations you will be able to blend some animation layers together and so on and so forth but then uh, this is uh if you if you've used maya before used to studio max before you would notice that this is something that has existed for a very long time in those apps and it's coming over to this app now i think it's more of an update uh, i don't really see them i don't really see it as uh, a new feature but then it's up to you guys to decide that is this an update or is it a new feature and you know we cannot talk about all of these things without addressing the fact that they have also worked on the uv so the uv now is better you can now cut your uvs better you can clean them up you can slice them as much as you want and the guys at foundry are claiming that you are going to have a very dramatic enhancement or speed while cutting your uvs and since it's uh, something that has to do with uvs i particularly don't use 
uh, model to cut UVs. Maybe I'm going to try it out since uh, Maya actually fixed the entire UV thing. It has been an amazing journey for me. And I will also try and see if the UV thing is actually supported within the viewport. Right now, I don't know if that is supported within the viewport. But uh, in as much as I know, they just said that it is uh, something that uh, has been worked on and then it is going to dramatically reduce how much time you cut UVs. We have also seen a couple of uh, updates and all of that stuff. And I, I still think I still think that uh, the, the biggest update for these guys or the biggest release to me uh, that these guys have actually done is the fact that there is much more of a procedural tool that is coming over to um, Modo. I will really, really appreciate it if more and more uh, uh, DCC app supports this procedural uh, modeling tools. I'm really, 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 you know, going to uh, appreciate it. And if you want to purchase Modo, you can go ahead and purchase Modo as a perpetual uh, license. But for now, it doesn't have to do with subscription, but there is a maintenance fee if you want to, you know, up with the update or, you know, upgrade with every update that comes in or with every new release. And that is still not so funny because you have to pay about $400 every year if you want to get that. But then I would like to know what you guys think about this. In the comment section below, do you like this tool? Is this tool for you? Have you used Modo before? Are you a Modo user? Do you like modeling with Modo? Then, I don't know, I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. To me, I kind of see Modo and Blender within the same space. I don't really see a lot of uh, disparities amongst the both of them. But I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends. And if you're new here, it would be awesome if you can just smash the subscribe button and also turn on notifications. So if I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. And until I see you guys next time with a tutorial, update, review, free Friday, tips and tricks, things like these guys. Peace.